Hey guys, here's a guide on how to 99 Nets Ethereon and Obsidian Sanctum. There are two strategies you can do here. One is known as the Zerg Strat, which requires your raid DPS to be high and is much easier to 99 in. And there is the intended strategy where you kill all three drakes one at a time. Let's look at both and see how both can be handled. Also, I stream this on Twitch, so check the description if you want to watch me live and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. First, we'll go over the Zerg strategy. The boss takes 30 seconds to respawn, so pop an indestructible potion before the pool, except this time, you want a hunter or a rogue to reset the boss when you have 30 seconds left until your potion cooldown is ready. This will allow you to use a potion of speed before the boss responds. Let's get into it. Now that the boss is reset, you should move up to the center of the room. I recommend doing slash timer to help time your peapot. Get centers up fast as this is a big DPS race. If you are a solo warrior in your raid, your rogue should use exposed armor. That will give a better raid DPS increase as the fight is so short. This fight has RNG to it, so be patient if your raid DPS is just able to meet the requirement. The flame walls can make or break this strategy. If you get this wall, it's going to kill your DPS. But if you get this wall, that's ideal because your DPS never have to move. Cross your fingers you get these back to back. Follow your rotation and pump as hard as you can. If you need help with your rotation, I've tagged my Fury Warrior guide at the top right of the video. Ideally, your off tank has a DPS set and will taunt Teneron away at around 28% or so and run him off. Here's an example of this I did in a 10 man. If you're the one that has to do this, you won't 99, but here's how. First, taunt, then heroic throw. Next, use your rocket boots and run to this corner. You will die, but you'll give enough time for your team to finish the boss. Let's get into the intended strategy. We have our tank start on this corner over here to position the boss a specific way for a reason, which I'll get into later. Indestructible potion one minute before pull and potion of speed one second before pull. Make sure to heroic throw as you rocket boot in. Get sunders up and hold your cooldowns for when the first drake lands. It's important for your tank to grab Tenebron and position him exactly as shown in the video so your DPS can cleave both Sartharion and Tenebron. This is why we position Sartharion the way we do. Tenebron should have been closer to Sartharion here, but you get the idea. This is when you pop cooldowns. Hero should have been popped earlier, so make sure you pop Hero as soon as Tenebron is in position. Keep in mind, everything counts towards your parse, so cleave and whirlwind all these whelps and fire elementals as well. Your tank should bring Tenebron to the middle of the other side to meet the next drake, Shadron, when the breath is on cooldown so your raid doesn't take a breath to the face. Do this one more time to meet Vesperon. When Vesperon is the only drake alive, go inside the portal with one healer and stack the two adds and cleave them down. Don't make the same mistake as I did and cleave everywhere possible. I used Heroic Strike way too many times. Be mindful of a flame wall up above because when you kill these you will be automatically pushed up top. The last thing you want is more than half your raid getting hit by a flame wall and you'll most likely wipe. Once you're up top, don't be like me and tap target Sartharion and intercept to him. I'm actually so bad at this game. Kill Vesperon and then head to Sartharion. A great tip here is to go through the middle of the boss so you don't get hit by Breath or his tail and sit in the lava for a second so you don't get hit by the wall. This way you don't lose any uptime. Remember to pop Serenite Bombs and your Glove Tinker every one minute. Okay, that's it for the guide. Please let me know if you learned anything with the Zerg strat or the traditional strat in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. If you did, please let me know which part. Good luck on your mount, and good luck parsing.